AM an 8-2 winner in their first game in this regional. Brown ball to the right side. Just past the glove of Jonathan Brandon into right field. Said it wasn't a great day, but did just enough battle through it. This one will drop in for a base hit. The Aggies will have him first and second. Strikes one out. That one's right through the wicket, and the runners will move up. That ball's belted to the right side. That's going to get a couple of runs in. The Aggies with a 2-0 lead here in the first. That's a shot to the left side. The hit parade continues. That is four base hits, all singles here in the first. Warm day. Throw back to second, and that one gets away, and that's going to allow Targotch to get over to third, and both runners move up. Ground ball right side. That one sneaks through. One run is in. They're going to send Clouch, and he'll make it safely. Four, nothing, Aggies. Targotch and Clouch come in to score. On the Minnick single, that is five hits in the top of the first. This offense has some power, but right now it's just killing them softly. Single, single, five singles in this first inning, four runs. And Brett Minnick gets a fastball he can handle by past the dive and Brandon. Off the end of the bat, slow roller. Brandon hurries and makes the play, but what a start for the Aggies. 15 runs batted in. And that's a little blooper in for a base hit. There you go. Raging Cajuns. Bayon over at first. Eight of ten in the stolen base department. He wastes little time on the run. And there's little time before he is thrown out. Austin Bose a couple years older. But he says their families are great friends. Ground ball. Tough play. Detmer missed the bag. Rockefort will be in there. At first base with two outs. Another little one out in front of the mound and another base hit. That gets away. That'll put runners at first and third. And here's an opportunity for Louisiana to chip away at this with two outs. That ball's lifted in the air into right center. And a diving effort can't be caught by Minnick. That'll get a run in. Maybe two. Here's the throw home. Not a time. It's cut off, and they've got a runner tied up, and the inning is over. <laughs> but Louisiana gets the big hit from Hood. Driving in. Luckily got things together. Speaking of getting things together, this one's hit deep to center field, and it is out of here. Brock with the home run to straightaway center. His seventh home run of the year, and it's now a 4-3 ball game. Big top pop out of the Cajun catcher, Julian Brock. Hate the death. Denver spotted with four runs and just having a hard time hanging on. This fastball or slider, sorry, it's intercut. Julian Brock with that leverage on that ball hit that ball. That goes a long way up center field. Wind kind of blowing out. Final knocking off the Cardinals earlier today. That one is a fair ball and a base hit to start the bottom of the third. DeBarge will be held up at first.
longest tag possible. There it is, just as you called it, Todd, in that gap between the first baseman and the second baseman, and now they're at first and second. He lays down the bunt. The only play is going to be over to first, and it gets away. A bad throw. And they are loaded up for the raging Cajuns. The ground ball. We'll try to turn two here and not in time. A run scores. And we are tied at four and they'll be at the corners. Yeah, this ball gets in on Heath Hood just enough to where Kaler to cut Targotch. They can't make the double play. Targotch. Kaler stays back, the flip to Targot. She makes a nice little transfer over to first, but not in time. There he goes. The throw down to second. Now they're coming home with it. Run scores. The old double steal works for a run, and Louisiana has a 5 4 lead. I mean, what Matt Deggs has created here is just incredible. I mean, look at the aggressiveness. He is safe at second by what, an inch? Ball's blistered, but caught. Jack Moss sticks that left paw up in the air and gloves it. And it's a 450-foot home run, then you'll remember this conversation. Well, how about the 0-2 base hit through the left side? And another two-out hit for Texas A&M. That's two in a row now that have beaten the shift. No shift here. That one's just a base hit to the left side. That's a fair ball. Robertson has nowhere to go with it. Looked like he was late breaking on that ball. Ground ball to the right side. Glove there by Willis, and he will win the race to first. At the starters and the, the closer that was really good that year. Boy, the what shift do you know? doesn't work again. Just don't like it, Dave. There is the butt laid down perfectly. Warner with the cannon of an arm. Gets the throw over to Jack Moss. But the sacrifice works, and now they've got their sixth run just 90 feet away. Back. Another butt. This one will get a run home, and the throw gets away from Moss. It went right underneath his glove, and it's 6-4. to four. Rage and Cajuns putting pressure on the Aggies tonight. See if they can turn it here. They get one, and they get two. Polish. Looks very polished. Mitchell player, uh, I say that, but just playing out in the field. That ball's lifted in the air. We'll drop in for a base hit off the bat of Targotch. A leadoff single for the Aggies. That one's lifted high in the air. Deep to left field. Off the wall. Veyon bounces off the wall. Scooped up there. The throw home not in time. And it's a 6-5 ball game. hit to the right side. They're going to wave clutch. Throw is cut off, and we are tied at six. It's hit today. That's out the center, a long run there for Rockefort, but able to make the catch. Pinching up the middle. And he goes that way and lasers it off to Ren after Rinconis. Well, I couldn't tell where that caught him, but man, was that a missile right at him. Low, keep the ball on the ground on the infield. Not that. That ball is absolutely torched. 
The Aggies have the lead at eight to six. Percentile. That's perfect. 65, 70 percent. Well, that was a strike that was blistered out to right. Is it deep enough? It is. Cole Kaler with his third of the year. Station. Cole Kaler out of the nine spot hasn't had a hit in all game. That ball is blistered. That'll be a leadoff double. DeBarge on his way to second. He'll stand up there. And DeBarge with his second hit of this game and his 13th double of the year. That one is out to right, and the catch is made by Minnick. And this one is in the books. Nine, six, Aggies win it.